Hi, and welcome to another episode of Home Brewing the Partial Mash Way. And tonight we're just going to do a quick, uh, we're gonna, going to, excuse me, we're gonna be transferring the brew that we made last week, which was, or two weeks ago rather, which was that cow chocolate extract kit from Midwest. Um, I'm really just doing this video as a way to see if my quality has improved. Um, I've made some changes to production value, to my production value. I've added a camera. I'm now using a mic, uh, an external mic as opposed to the mic that was in the camera. So I really just want to see um, if the video quality is getting any better. So this should be pretty quick. Um, like I said, it's just transferring. I'm not going to show a whole lot. Um, I still have cleanup to do, so this was just kind of, you know, just an intro. Um, so, um, yeah, so we're going to get right to it here in a minute. Uh, just as soon as I get the cleanup done, not going to bother wasting your time showing you that. Okay, um, so I've got the cleaning done that I need to get, get done. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up the bucket. Remember, this is that cow chocula that we did two weeks ago. First thing I'm going to do is take a... Uh, Gravity reading, wow, yeah. Um, the, I, I threw away the instructions, but for my memory's sake, and if I, I'm sure if I went back and looked at the video, it would tell me, I'm pretty sure it needed to end at 1.0161 or something like that. Uh, one second. Mm. Oh, this is my first beer in over a week. Fuck, that's good. Excuse my language. This is, uh, 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 Breckenridge Brewery's uh, Oatmeal Stout. If you haven't had it, if you can get it, get it. It's good stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, that's enough of me drinking. All right, so let's open her up. If she wants to open up, probably should have done this on the floor. It would have been easier. There we go. All right, I like to keep my head away from that initial blast. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, get our hydrometer. This has been cleaned and sanitized, so we're gonna go ahead, oh, get a glass, because I'm gonna taste this. I like to taste All right. Looking for one point one six, and what we have is. Well, we're at right at 1.20. So, we're a little off. You know what? I think I know what happened. And I'm pretty sure this is done. I haven't seen any activity in it for a few days now. So, I'm just gonna go with it. it smells good. Mm. Got a good flavor. Um, can definitely tell that about the. I think I can. I can think I can taste what the what the lactose does. It almost gives it a a thick mouthfeel. Of course, I don't taste the chocolate yet, but that's because we haven't added the chocolate that's in this step. We're gonna be adding cocoa nibs to the uh, secondary fermenter. But all in all, it's not a bad beer. Very malty, almost sweet.
I think I'm gonna like that one. Yeah, I really do. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, well, we need to add the cocoa nibs, and I forgot to grab them. So it's a good thing that we did this, this little taste, because I think I would have forgot otherwise. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause all this, come back, I'll go downstairs, grab the cocoa nibs out of the fridge, and we'll pick back up. Okay, uh, so it occurred to me that I realized I said that I knew why the uh, beer didn't hit uh, 0.16. And I didn't share why. Uh, the reason why is because where I ferment my beer, it's pretty temperature sensitive. And what ended up happening is the room that I do it in, the uh, well, the door to that room got closed. There is no, there is no register for our heating and air, or uh, in that room, it got closed somehow. I don't know how. And when I noticed it and got in there, I mean it was. It was, I mean, it's basically a closet. It was bone chilling cold in there. So I think that um, stopped the fermentation. You know, shit happens. I'm not that worried about it. I'm sure it's still gonna taste good. Uh, well, I know it's going to, cause I, I enjoyed that sample. I'm not, you know, I'm never really worried about that, how much alcohol. I don't really drink beer to get drunk. I, I drink beer because I, I do actually enjoy the taste of beer. I really love the taste of beer. I'd rather, I'd rather drink beer than any other drink there is, alcoholic or not. Okay, so anyway, to the task at hand. We're gonna be adding four ounces of cocoa nibs. Um, I lost the instructions, like I said. Actually, I probably just threw them away. So for all I know, we're only supposed to add half of this, a quarter of this. So I'd rather it taste more chocolatey than less chocolatey. Hey, maybe I'll finally have a beer that my wife will enjoy. So we're gonna go ahead and add all four ounces. Probably should have got my scissors, but to be honest, I don't know where they are right now. So we're gonna go ahead and add all four ounces of these right in the fermenter and then we'll put the beer right on top of them. Okay, all four ounces in the fermenter. I'm gonna get up now and you're gonna lose me in the frame. We'll fix that real quick. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take our tubing that's been sitting in star sand. I'll take my word for it that we're going right into the secondary fermenter. Just put all that down in there. All right, and then we'll go ahead and start our auto siphon. What I like to do here is I go all the way to the bottom. Okay, just fill the tap. And come up just a little bit. And hopefully I won't have to monitor this or hold it for too long or too much. I can just kind of let it go until it gets near the bottom. And there she goes. Beer's coming down. I'm gonna get off camera here and do a little camera work. You can still hear me, I, I imagine. Okay, so you can see that, yep, we definitely have beer coming out. Lovely brown stout going down the old tubage. And right into our secondary, pouring up nicely. All right, well, you know, there's really not a whole lot more to this other than just adding the, uh, well, adding the uh, airlock, put film the airlock and setting it back in. So I think I'm just gonna call this good. Uh, this was more of a test video anyway. So uh, yeah, now, if this all works out the way I want, looks good, sounds good, next weekend, I'm calling it next weekend, we are going to be brewing Bok Yu, and we're gonna be brewing it the partial mash way. Eight pounds of grain, three pounds of extract, full on research mash. It's gonna be awesome. Tune in, see you then.